Hey, Beauty and Life. It's me, Nakaya. So, as most, most of you guys know, just been following maybe my Snapchat or my Instagram or even my Twitter. I'm not at home right now. So, y'all want to say, where am I? I'm at the Star of Hope. What is the Star of Hope? It's a shelter. A women's shelter. They have a couple programs for us. Right now, the program that I'm in is, let's see... Tape 30 program. So when we first get here, we have orientation. We have orientation, and then you go to starting point, which is the week after orientation, and then you can choose, you know, saying biblical counseling, new hope, or new journey. Now, each of these three programs are 90 days, and they each have their own outlook. I decided to go with the biblical pro the biblical counseling, or what is it called? Something like that, biblical whatever. The reason why I chose that one. When I say it is because y'all know that I'm still pregnant with Alakai. Y'all know he's not due to December. So, just being a mother of a son, not married, don't really know much about men. You know what I'm saying? I had a brother. And I'm going to say three fathers since I've been, you know what I'm saying, living. So, that's four men that's been in my life most of the time. So, I can't really say that I know men or anything about that. But I can say I know myself. And, you know what I'm saying, just a body, bringing it into the world, the easiest way to teach it and the easiest program that I can go in that I feel like is, you know what I'm saying, good for both of us, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, is the biblical counseling. The biblical counseling. Some good morals on it, you know what I'm saying, you get to learn, you know what I'm saying, how to be you, because I want him to be him for himself too, you know what I'm saying. That's why I didn't want to do the new journey. I'm not going to try to tell you what your hobby get or anything like that. Why? As y'all know, I'm not employed. I'm not employed. I haven't graduated college. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a human. That's all I really can break it down to. And I did want to get on here and explain that to y'all a little bit. I wanted to explain that to y'all a little bit. Because as I was talking to my roommates, two girls are in the room with me. They're both 18. My homegirls. I don't know if they want their name to be said on camera. So, But yeah, they ain't here with me right now sleeping on their bed. But yeah. I was explaining that to them. You know what I'm saying? Life, it might be a little bit hard going forward with the next steps because what? I don't have a degree. You know what I'm saying? Don't have a husband. Don't have a job. And these are three things that I've tried to get and have not attained in life. And then the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That's sinful. That's sinful in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I've been baptized when I was nine years old. Maybe I wasn't ready. Maybe I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Maybe it was a false thing under God. Maybe this child is to tell me, you know what I'm saying, this is supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, the worst trial and tribulation you ever experienced. Am I going to say that it feels like that? No. I'm going to say the first trimester did. The first trimester kind of felt like that. I'm not going to say it was bad. Like, I wanted to kill myself. No, but it was hard. The second trimester is mostly like, you know what I'm saying, everybody else can, you know what I'm saying, feel or understand that I'm pregnant, but I still don't know. That's how I feel in this, this second trimester. Now, in a couple of days, we're going to be on the third trimester. I'm not going to know how that's going to be. Now, when he's born, I'm not going to know how that's going to be either. Where do I start? Applying for a job? I've been doing it. Nothing. Trying to go to school? Don't have the funds to do it. Don't have a vehicle. Don't have the time. Now that I'm a mother, a husband, don't have the patience. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not a man. I can't ask him why. Why? I don't know. So, I don't want to just fall back on my mother. You know what I'm saying? This is her first grandchild, too. She don't want to have to wake up in the morning and see a little bit of infant on her, on her shoulder. I don't know how to take care of a child. I'm going to have to do that. Luckily, you know what I'm saying, she did get a degree. You know what I'm saying? By the time my child's in school, that's 10 years since I graduated high school, and I probably haven't even got a degree yet. So he's going to be in school learning probably more than me when I'm sitting up here trying to teach him his ABCs in the morning. Am I even going to know how to do that? Am I going to know how to count still? Am I going to know? Is he going to be prepared when he at y'all school has with y'all? Is he going to be able to be prepared? Is my mom going to be able to prepare him? She graduated in 97. So it's going to be 2025. When he in school. Let alone, I graduated in 2015. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to go to school. That's one of my goals. Try to get a job. Try to get a car. Try to go to school. 
raise my son at the same time. Put food on the table for us. But, you know what I'm saying, clothes on him. Pampers on him. Love for him. Still go to church. Still maintain. But people usually do that after they already have a degree. You know what I'm saying? After they already have knowledge. After they already have financial stability. A husband. Daughters don't just turn 22 and then just start making these type of moves. I look at America and I say, you know what I'm saying? I never even, I never voted. I don't know nothing about voting. How am I going to teach him something like that? To write a check. I never wrote a check before. These are things that I don't know. And America's looking at me right now. What type of child is you finna bring into the world? What type of child are you gonna bring into the world? What did you send it to our schools? Because you also gotta think, my last name hasn't changed. You know what I'm saying? So now my father's last name is the same as mine, my brother's is the same as mine, and now my child finna be the same as mine, and then me. So you got three men and one woman under the same last name. I mean, is that I'm not married and I don't know the baby's father. And I don't know the baby father last name. So is that going to be legal to put a child on the earth like that? How do y'all name them if they do that? If y'all got answers, put them in the comments so I can learn. Because they haven't given me no paperwork. They haven't came to the house and had no sit down at the table, supper, so we can discuss what I need to do. They haven't did that. They haven't did that. They left that all a secret. So if y'all know, and y'all could throw out some information to me, I'm going to take it out my head here to it. But as far as my experiences here, it's been pretty good. Sometimes hard to, you know what I'm saying, focus. Because like I said, I feel like all the focus is on how, why, and you know what I'm saying, who are you as a pregnant person. And this is on the focus of everybody else here, and my head haven't even hit that yet. So I'm start trying to learn from them about me, which is confusing and irritating at some times. But that's just how I feel like it's been. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to open my mouth up and talk? What am I supposed to be doing with my time? If y'all took all my time for me, it's like y'all took my brain out of my head, slapped it on the lip and just started speaking it. So what's all in my head? You know? Then I come back and I try to lay my head back down on the pillow. Or like today, Saturday, we don't have no class. We don't have no chapel. And I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with my time. I don't know what to do with my energy, my attention. I don't know where to put my feet. Why? Because it, it's like everybody got it mapped out. How did they get that? I don't know. Am I going to trust that? I am. I'm going to trust to the fullest. I'm going to trust to the fullest. Somewhat borderline. But... I mean, on the same level, though, I'm never going to just say, you know what I'm saying, that I don't want to experience it and try to learn from it, too. Because that's another thing, too. A lot of people, that's what I feel like is a trap right now. It's a lot of people put this stuff and these people in my face, and that's not even where I want to be. So I really don't even want to look at it because I see that that's what you place here. That's not me. That's nothing of me. But you want to pay attention to it. I don't want to pay attention to it. You probably can feel that by the time you've been out there. So now your feeling is to try to touch or try to, you know, hit or just try to make attention and be seen. And you're looking at death then. With all those things adding up, that's just nothing but death to me. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's better to just fall back off of it. Fall back off of it and put yourself in a position where you need to be. That's it. But yeah, I've been inside it. I need to smell a lot of these. I've been excited about it. So, I mean, every now and then, you know what I'm saying? It's some mornings or some. Stuff that my borderline try to get me kicked out of here. And my mom's out of town right now, so I don't want to be on the street. And just not have nowhere to go because that's, that's the outcome of that. But we just have to see. But yeah, comment and let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, so far, I mean, I think it's like September 22nd, something like that. I'm going to say about 10, 21 a.m. Let me make sure the date. All right, let me see. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday, September 21st, 10, 21 a.m. You know, coming from me, Nakai Emanuel. So, we're going to see where I'm at. We're going to try to enjoy. We're going to try to love each other. And continue to subscribe and watch all my socials.
Instagram, of course, Beauty and Life 12. Twitter, Beauty and Life 12. Snapchat, Revelations. And TikTok, Beauty and Life 12. If y'all need to email me to talk about any concerns or questions or just anything, that'll be at beautyandlife12 at gmail.com. So, that's if you guys want to stay in touch with me. See ya.